Hey guys, I'm Pai with Linear Drifts of Photography as well as the Senior Editor for SLR Lounge and I am here with... Hi there, I'm Lindsay and I'm a Copy Editor for SLR Lounge and I shoot under Lindsay Chavez Photo. Today we have something really special for you guys. What do we have here today, Lindsay? Well, we have the uber popular Kelly Moore bags. They are so hot right now, Pai, that everyone either already has one, wants one, or is on a wait list for one. Yeah, well, I, I didn't kind of realize how popular they were until we got to WPPI this last year and we saw... I mean, they had a huge booth there, and it was just mm -hmm. chock full of girls buying stuff. And so we're like, yes. okay, this is something we need to get our hands on for review. Yes. But they kind of focus primarily on girls' bags. That's right. Um, they do have a guy bag, which we also got. But when we got the when we got the bags, we're like, okay, we need to enlist our copy editor to actually help us with these reviews because uh, she's a girl and we're not. So. Lucky me. <laughs> it might look a little weird, right, if I was carrying this around <laughs> all day long. It depends on the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, can you tell us which bags we have here? Well, today we have the Be Hobo bag, then we have their Libby bag, and the Kelly Boy. Awesome. So we, we kind of put these things through our paces, um, through the paces, and we took them onto multiple shoots. Mm -hmm. I know you did, we did as yes. well. And so we have a lot of things to talk about. So why don't we start with uh, the Be Hobo? Okay. So this is the Be Hobo bag, and I'm pretty sure this is one of their most popular designs. Um, it's a nice size. And I was able to take this on a senior photo session. And it was perfect because it held my camera body, it held an extra lens, and you know some lip gloss, and uh, my CF cards, and all the essentials for lip a photo gloss. shoot. Lip gloss is shooting Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, the, what's so funny about this bag is when I took it out and I met my client, the first thing they asked me was, where's your stuff? <laughs> and I said, well, it's inside this camera bag. And they just thought it was a purse and they were very surprised. Apparently clients aren't yet used to the whole thing of photographers looking good while they shoot yet, right? Apparently, <laughs> apparently. But my senior that I was shooting that day now wants one of these bags. So, yeah, um, this bag was perfect. It was just the right size. Um, I well, have. Why don't you tilt it forward so we can okay. kind of show them the size of it. What yes. were you putting inside of it exactly? What I had in here, I had my camera body and I had my 50 millimeter lens on it. Then I had an extra lens, the 16 to 35. And then I had some backup batteries and um, just, you know, all of the, you know, CF cards and random things like that. Um, and there's a lot of pockets here. What was interesting, I don't know if you guys can see this, but like, from the outside, this this actually looks like a really kind of smaller bag, right? Mm -hmm. But when you fold it out and you see the inside, it actually is quite spacious. Like right. it can hold a lot of stuff. Easily have seventy two hundreds in there, with, yeah. and like room to spare, right? Right. You could, and there are a lot of pockets here in the front, so you can put your keys, wallet, business cards. Um, there's little handy cell phone pockets on the sides that you could use it for too. It was perfect on the shoot. It was just the right size for that small senior photo session. Mm -hmm. And it's actually good for travel too. And for you mom photographers out there, if you're just you know taking your kids to the park and you have your DSL, your DSLR camera, it's perfect to you know just tote your things around in. So yeah, well, awesome. And then uh, so you took that on that shoot. Right. What did you do with the Libby exactly? And I know this is like I'm going to help you with this because this is it's, chock full of goodies right, right now. It has all of my all my good stuff in here. So the Libby bag is quite a bit larger than the Be Hobo bag. And I actually took this on a wedding. Mm -hmm. Now, this wasn't the bag that I used to shoot with, so it wasn't, you know, I didn't walk around with this bag all day, but I was able to transport most of my wedding gear in here. So if you want to wow. take a look. That's crazy. Right. What the heck? You got everything in here. I do have everything in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was able to fit, I think there are four lenses in here. There are two strobes. There's a video light. There are my hoods. Um, lens cleaner, CF cards. I could even fit a laptop in here if I wanted to, but it was getting kind of heavy, yeah. so I left that at home. <laughs> yep. Well, that's crazy. It, I mean, it, it fits kind of everything, including right. the kitchen sink. So. Everything. Um, and then you also have like all these other pockets for it, which is something that's really cool because, right. I mean, you can have virtually a compartment for everything, right? Right. There are all of these extra pockets in the front, so easy access to things like your keys. Um, you know, you can hide things in here, your phone. This bag was great for pretty much storing everything. And it was so cute that I liked it because I didn't feel so nerdy yeah. rolling in with my black rolly, <laughs> you know, suitcase type camera bag. And this was, you know, it was, it was much better looking, but it got pretty heavy, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you put it back. So you Thank don't you. Throw out your back here. <laughs> 
All right, and then I had the chance to uh, do the Kelly Boy bag, and uh, we, I took this out basically on an engagement shoot as well as on a wedding, and it was awesome. Like it, the thing, again, like the other bags, it holds everything. I'm gonna hold this forward so you guys can hopefully see this. Um, we have three main lens compartments, uh, or, or like really anything. These are huge compartments that can actually be subdivided too. So if you wanna put, like break it into, you could probably hold like four or five lens mm -hmm. in there. Um, and then you also have this laptop compartment which can be removed as well. And that's one of the other cool things about all these bags is that these uh, these little oh, these lens compartment dividers right. are adjustable and so you right. can kind of Velcro them in however you guys like to shoot. So I was fitting everything in this bag, um, which again, it did get a little bit heavy, mm -hmm. but uh, but it, it looks great. It holds its shape really well. And again, it doesn't look like a, uh, you know, a, a standard shooting bag. It actually looks really good. Um, so why don't we talk about kind of the things that we loved about each bag, and then we'll kind of go through uh, some of the things we noted and, and okay. keep going from there. So what did you love about the Bee Hobo? Well, my favorite thing about the he Bee Hobo was that the, the Hobo bag is so, so, so popular right now, just in you know fashionable purses. Yeah. So I love that it looked like a regular purse. It didn't scream that I had thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment yeah. inside. It was um, not too big, so it was perfect on the small photo shoot that I took it on. I I'm not so sure if I would take it on a whole day wedding shoot, mm -hmm. but it was perfect for the senior photo session, a family photo session, or you know, doing an engagement shoot or something like that. Yeah. Well, I'd imagine also when you're shooting one of these, you know, we, we shoot at a lot of places. I'm sure everybody shoots at places without permits. You can't always get permits where mm -hmm. you're going. And, uh, and people are like security guards can often be really stick, big right. sticklers about that. So carrying around something like this has a completely different feel. And I'm sure right. you draw a lot less attention. Which Absolutely. I think for, from the aesthetic side, that's the really practical side of right. the aesthetics of all these, uh, of this gear is that when we say you don't look like a photographer, well, that isn't to say, I mean, like, not looking like a nerd is a big thing. Well, that's, that's one thing which I think you, you like. But, um, but there's a really practical side to it, which is not drawing a lot of attention. Right. So. Definitely. Well, and then how about the Libby? The Libby bag, I, I would use this for traveling. I think it's perfect for carrying on, um, on an airplane. If you don't want to check your, you know, all of your gear, it's perfect for all of that because it carries so much stuff. Um, and there's even room for, you know, just, you know, some travel essentials, your, you know, wallet and you know, um, chargers and things like that. There's more than enough room in there. Yeah. It's a great travel bag. Yeah, this thing seriously holds everything. Yes. And you know, what I really loved about the Kelly Boy bag basically was um, just the fact that it's kind of the only bag that I needed when I went on the shoots. Mm -hmm. um, I, I literally fit everything there. From my CF cards in the front, you got your two zippers compartments in the front um, for kind of more secure items that you mm -hmm. need to get in there. And then also the quick access pockets and then these side pockets as well as a back quick access pocket and a front hidden pocket under here. So you can seriously get everything inside right. of this, which is what I loved about it. I think the one caveat for all of these, um, well, except for the Behobo, was that basically they do hold a ton. Mm -hmm. There's also a, another side to that with any messenger bag, not not necessarily the Kelly Moore bag, but just any messenger bag design that's a strap, single shoulder strap design. If you're loading it up with more than 10, 15 mm -hmm. pounds of gear, um, it's gonna get really heavy really quick. It gets quick. very heavy. And uh, yeah. so these two bags aren't something that you're going to go into a shoot and just sling the entire time. But the great thing about it was that they, uh, they all sit perfectly. Like they just they do. sit perfectly straight up. So what I like to do is go into my shoe and with every scene I've carried in it because it weighed like 15, 20 pounds, I would just set it down as soon as I got to my scene. And then it was like a little quick access lens thing just right on the side whenever I need to switch out, right. you know, with bridal prep, with engagement sessions and everything like that. Right. Is that kind of the same usage that you were using it for too? Like with yeah. the kind of bringing it in and setting it down versus like slinging it the entire time. Right, right. It was really it was really handy for that because you can keep the zipper open and just, you know, easy access to all of your things, mm -hmm. but you can, you know, zip it up and then it has that extra security so your things aren't falling out of it. Mm -hmm. With the Behobo 2, there's this little shoulder strap. So it's more, you know, purse-like as well as the crossbody. Yeah. And so what were the things that maybe uh, we'd like to see on these bags maybe in like future versions? Maybe some okay. areas that we thought uh, you know, that we could be slightly improved. They're right. great bags, built very well, but we have some notes right. on them, right? <laughs> well, they're beautiful, and I can absolutely see why so many people out there want one of these bags. Um, when I was looking at them online, I, I fell in love with the yellow Be Hobo bag, but when I actually got it, it was quite a bit brighter than I thought, so mm -hmm. just know that. Mm -hmm. um, also, I know that a lot of people assume that they're leather, but know that they're made of man-made materials. Mm. So that's a, that, that's a big 
big, um, you know, point of interest, I suppose. Yeah, and, and I think it says that on the website, there's just sometimes, I mean, the pictures right. on the site, of course, right. it looks like leather. So, I mean, if you don't yeah. read all the details, you should know that it's man-made leather. But, it is. Um, there, there are some notes with man-made leather just in general, not necessarily with this bag, but mm -hmm. in general. What were the issues that you kind of ran into? On well, with the, with the lighter colors, mm -hmm. if you're wearing um, darker clothing, jeans, or, you know, dark pants or shirts, uh, the dye has a, ten a tendency to rub off on the material in the back. So that, you know, that's something that you should know and, you know, could possibly make you want to order something darker, you know, one of the darker colors for them. Mm -hmm. So if you are, yeah, if you're wearing a lot of bright colors frequently, um, that's a good thing to know. And then, you know, one thing, uh, I really like the Behovo, kind of the, the leather on the Behovo was, um, it, it felt very, very much leather-like. Right, um, it has a nice texture to it. A very nice texture, and you can't really tell, I mean, if you, unless you say it's man-made leather. Mm -hmm. These two had a slightly different texture, a little bit more plasticky, but they're still very nice materials, and they still um, look like leather, you know. They do. The they, they do. They have a great, and part of the reason for that is if these things were actually made of genuine top-grade leather, I don't think you'd be getting them for like 180 bucks or right. something like that. Right, it would right? be much more than that, They'd definitely. Like five, 600 bucks, but, that is one thing I would like to see, Kelly, because uh, I'm a little bit metro in my things, and <laughs> I, I would love to pay a premium price for right. a full uh, guy's leather. Well, it's, that's true. Is this a merce? Is when I wear this around, does it look like a merce? I don't know. It kind of has a little bit of <laughs> merciness to it, but I, I kind of like that look a lot. And so uh, it's it's yeah. just a messenger bag, and I would love to have a full leather version of this. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing that we noted. Right. Also on the guy bag, one thing that I noted on this one was that I kind of wanted a strap that matched the leather, that uh, this, right. this simulated leather. Like well. it does here. The color. Like these all match and everything. I kind of wanted the same thing, but these aren't like at all big things, uh, like big issues. They're just small things that we kind of noted right. with them. Um, right. What else did you kind of note with your your bags? Was there anything else? Well, there was just one tiny funky thing. Um, in the Libby bag particularly, they have all these Velcro compartments where you can you know snugly place inside here for all of your gear and make all these little pockets. But they have this little divider that has a little Velcro side here, but it doesn't have the other smooth Velcro oh, yeah, yeah. to attach to. So when I put yeah. it in here to separate a little I'll section here. So can see. Right. So if you if you want to divide this compartment, say, into right. two smaller ones, yeah. it won't So these two it. lenses here are just rubbing up, you know, against each other. But if I put it here, it just won't to divide it, but it won't them. stick. Yeah, it, it won't stick. stick. So just one tiny little, tiny and, little note there. And that's really more of a kind of a, an issue with the, the larger Libby bag because right. the other bags, it's not they're not wide enough for you to want to divide those mm -hmm. pockets. True. But for this one, it'd be cool if those dividers had like that yeah. cloth on both sides, so you can actually Velcro to it. Definitely. So I think that's it. As far as your general consensus, I mean, would you buy these bags? What do you think about them? You know, I personally love these bags because they were, they're stylish, they're adorable, and they definitely served a really great purpose. I mean, they held my gear in there really well. Um, and, you know, I love the fact that it's inconspicuous. It doesn't mm -hmm. scream, look at me, I have tons of, you know, thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment in here. And I really like that. Yeah. Well, and I, I love the Kelly Boy bag. It's definitely a bag that I would use, I would mm -hmm. buy. Um, I, and we, again, to talk about that whole, the whole being, not being recognized as a photographer. <laughs> I wanted to bring up a story about that because we actually went to Cabo for a destination shoot uh, a little more than a year ago. And uh, every country, in case you guys don't know, every country has their own rules on photography. And we found out this when we went there, but Cabo doesn't let you take in more than two lenses and one body per photographer, which means they take them at security. Ugh. And so, so yeah, we had a couple lenses taken away and you don't get those back, unfortunately. So those automatically make yeah. your trip a couple thousand dollars more expensive. Yes. But um, it's a big thing to be able to go places and not look like a photographer. Right. Not only you don't want to attract attention from people that might maybe possibly steal your gear, right. um, but also security guards, also you know at airports. Mm -hmm. It's a big thing. And so I, I love this bag for that. I would make a, also a note on this one that um, online, and it's, it's really difficult because with everybody, uh, you know, with the using different LCD monitors and mm -hmm. stuff like that, they're not necessarily all calibrated the same right. way. The colors look different. So you see something different. online and it might look a little bit different. This one I thought was going to be a little bit darker um, and it actually came in as a little bit lighter than I thought. Right. So I'd probably go with the black, but this is right. definitely a bag I would use. I would buy it. They're built very well, really high quality. Yeah. All the zippers, um, the stitching and everything is really high quality craftsmanship mm -hmm. to it. So. 
All right, Lindy, so what do you think? Are these SR Lounge approved? Definitely SLR Lounge approved. All right, I would definitely agree with that. They're SLR Lounge approved, guys. They're great bags. Um, where do we get them? Go to kellymorebag.com and look at all of their styles and all the different colors. And also right now, just a quick note, Kelly's actually given all the readers at SR Lounge 15 bucks off mm -hmm. by using the SR Lounge coupon code. Good so, deal. Uh, check out the SR Lounge deals page for more details, but when you go to kellymorebag.com, there's no S by the way, kellymorebag.com, just put in SR Lounge and you'll get a little chunk of change off your bill. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.